Yeah, I do some editing. This All right, uh, we got uh, Calculus A, B, A, P. It is Tuesday, April 18th. 8.12 notes, all right. Um, went back to the drawing board last night. Um, Katie's using, my sister's using my car, so I was stuck here until 6.30. So uh, just, um. I thought about asking Mrs. Five. What? How did that rumor start? Because Colleen goes home with Maggie Stewart. Oh. Yeah. Like, oh I said I was maybe I'll ask Mrs. Five. Wait, wait, Matt, Mrs. Five doesn't drive? Mrs. Five comes to like different times. Mr. Rushka, is this the highest paying job you've ever had? Well, it's the only job I've ever had. You never had like, a summer a job? or? I had a summer job. That's not as high paying as high delivered ice. Delivered ice? Yeah. That actually might have been. No. It might have been. <laughs> How much did you make? Yeah. Uh, if you like it, yeah. Uh, you can like balance your family life and like you have a spouse that more money. Like that. Yeah. You like to do this too? I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so you trying to be a professor? Yeah. Like do professors make a lot? What? And they get like you do ten years. Like Bring a lot of grant money. <laughs> Okay. okay, here we go. Here we go. So we talked about the washer method last class, right? Um, so disk method, right? Disk method was, was all about um, disk method was all about finding the radius and then doing pi r squared and integrating that, doing the integral of pi r squared. Yeah. Okay, adding up all the areas of the circles. Okay. Washer method was a little different. We're kind of combining the area of the square, or the area of the region stuff with the volume stuff. So we were doing, uh, right, top squared minus bottom. So for, for integrals, for surfaces of revolution, where the axis of revolution was horizontal, right? We did top squared minus bottom squared times pi. Right, and then the integral of that from A to B, from the left side of the region to the right side of the region. Okay. When our axis of revolution was vertical, we did a, an integral with respect to Y. We did the right function minus the left, the right function squared minus the left function squared times pi. We integrated that from the bottom to the top of the region. Okay. Vertical, you do a Y, bottom to top. Horizontal, you do X, left to right. Okay. Washer method. That was the washer method. Okay. Now we talked about doing the washer method revolving around other axes. Okay. So up here in 811 are axes of revolution, where where uh, just the X axis or the Y axis, one of those two. There's actually one, only one example problem for that for some reason. Okay. Now we're going to do revolving around other axes. So this one, you revolve around the line uh, x equals negative 1. I'll draw, draw that here in pink. All right. You're going to take this region. Okay. You're going to take this region. You're going to revolve it around. Okay. It's going to make the weird like donut thing, like parabola donut thing. Like parabola shaped donut. Okay? Parabola donuts. That'd be awesome. Okay? As Patrick Gresham said, right? If I graduate from Cathedral High School not knowing how to find the volume of a torus, this school will have failed me. Okay? So if, I, if you guys graduate without knowing how to find the volume of this thing, I will have failed you. Okay? We're still going to do the same thing. Okay? It's still going to be. So this is x equals negative 1, right? x equals negative 1, okay? So is my axis of revolution, what is that? Is that vertical or horizontal? Vert. Vertical, okay? Because of that, we're going to integrate uh, with respect to y, so integrate dy, okay, from top to bottom. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, 
the answer key was wrong too, so I had to like go and like figure out like the whole thing. I had to go back and like to the drawing board. So Mr. Lashka, who's Rufus? I have no idea. Ask Mr. Tentacle. What? Ask Mr. Tentacle. Alright, hey, I I'm in the zone. I'm locked in. I'm in the zone right now. This is this is actually pretty tough, okay? You can't get off topic. Okay? Can't get off topic, okay? It is really bad to get off topic. Okay? Like getting off topic in math class. <laughs> getting off topic about I'm talking about getting off topic. Okay. Um, so we're gonna integrate from top to bottom. Okay? Okay. Um, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the same thing. Woohoo! Okay? So we're gonna integrate pi, okay? So what did we do in this last section? What did we do in this last section? Whatever keeps your attention. What did we do in this last section? Um, we did, when we integrated from a vertical axis of revolution, we did right minus left, correct? Down here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do right, right, can we leave it? squared minus left. I left a little space. It's an integral with, D, with respect to y, dy. Okay. What do you think is going to go in that little space? So now instead, right, so in the last section, we did a lot of integrating around x equals 0. Right, so we omitted this last section. Now we're revolving around x equals negative 1. So to compensate for that, I have to do a minus negative 1 here. Minus negative one. Boom. Yeah, so that, that is um, the top to bottom refers to the numbers on the top and bottom of the integral symbol. No, you're, no, you're good. Right minus left refers to the function that you're actually using. Yeah, that's confusing. There was ambiguity. So we're looking at this, okay? We have to split this up into two different surfaces of revolution. And that's because, right, I'm trying to do right minus left, okay? So here in this, I'll, I'll color code these. Let's do green region. Okay, I love the green region. Okay, let's do yellow region. Okay, so when I'm in the green region, my right function is what? The volume of the green part, right? The right is x equals 1, right? That's the line x equals 1. You guys see that? That's the line x equals 1. The left is x equals 0. Okay. So that's going to be 1 minus negative 1 squared minus 0 minus negative 1 squared. And that's going to be with respect to y. It's a dy. I wrote the dy there because my axis of revolution, the line that I'm revolving around, is vertical. Okay. Right? And then I've got to change. I've got to do another integral for the yellow region. Why is that? So my right graph is the same. My left graph is now what? Yeah, the uh, exactly. No, I know, I know what you mean, though. No, exactly. Uh, it's um, this guy right here, that group. Okay. okay, so the green, we're going to do that. Okay, we're going to integrate that from what? What's the lowest? What's the lowest? So this is an integral with respect to y. So think of the lowest y. One. Zero. To uh, the green region. What's the top of the green region? One. Yeah, zero to one. Boom. Okay. So that's V1 equals, okay, one minus negative one squared. That's what? Four? Four minus zero minus negative one squared is one. Oh, I forgot my pi. Sorry, I forgot my pi. Put a pi in front. So this becomes pi times the integral from zero to one of three dy. 
which is pi times 3y evaluated from 0 to 1, which is 3 pi. So table that. OK, let's draw a dash around that. That's what I did in college. So that's going to be part of our answer. That's going to be part of our answer. OK, whenever we do a big problem and do it by parts, it's easy to forget where you're going. OK, don't be like Moses in the desert. OK, he forgot where he was going. Okay, that's what my quantum physics professor always said. He was the man, or he is the man. David Eagle. Is Georgetown? Yeah. What? Who? She should go to Rebuff. Yeah, there's like a, there's a lot of Rebuff kids there. Anyway, so that's part of my answer, right? That's just the volume of the green part. When I, vol when I take the green part, revolve it around my pink line, I get a little donut thing. Get a little, uh, Okay. So now I got to do the yellow. Now I got to do the yellow. Got to do the yellow. So put, take your three pi, put it in your back pocket, right? I'll, I'll even, you know what? Just to make the analogy better, right? I'll literally do that. What? I'm going to take a post-it note, write three pi on it. Because yeah. literally put three pi in the back pocket. Why? How do you fit three pi? <laughs> got three pi right here. Just going to put it in my back pocket, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna take out like two weeks later. You're not gonna wash it. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. I need some space. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna shrink that. Sorry. I'm gonna shrink my guy here. Okay. Now I gotta do the yellow region. Gotta do the yellow region. Okay. Um, one thing I want to note is our yellow region, right? We're going to do an integral with respect to what variable? Y, y right? We're going to do a dy integral, okay? We can only, when we're doing an integral with respect to y, we can only integrate functions of y. So this function right here, this is a function of x right now. Do you see why? Do you, do you, do you, uh, do you would observe the reason for that? This is a function of x, right? So what we've got to do is we've got to solve for x turn it to turn it into a function of y. So subtract 1, take the square root. Okay, that function there, that is x equals the square root of y minus 1. Okay. So this is this curve, this blue curve here. This blue curve, we're going to write it as a function of y x equals the square root of y minus 1. Okay. So again, for v, let's call this v2. Okay, v2 is going to be <coughs> pi times the integral. What's the lowest y in that yellow region? 1. 1. What's the highest? 2. Two. Okay. Uh, we're going to do right minus negative 1 minus negative 1 squared. What's my right function? 1. one. So we're going to do 1 minus negative 1 quantity squared minus what's my left function? Uh, wait, root. Y minus 1. So we're going to do root y minus 1 minus negative 1 squared. Let me move that dy. Boom, that's your integral, OK? So that simplifies to pi times the integral from 1 to 2 of 4 minus 1 plus square root of y minus 1 squared. I'm going to go ahead and do that in my calculator since we actually weren't supposed to evaluate these anyway. But okay, so let's do that in my calculator. Where's Terra Bear? Where's Terra Bear? What's up? That's one plus, yeah, sorry. Terrible handwriting. Handwriting is like my most difficult skill in life. So I'm going to do my calc with Terry real quick. There we go. I got, dang it. 
So the calculator can't even really do it. It gives me 1.6 repeating, 1.16 repeating. What is that? Times pi. 1.16 repeating is what as a fraction? 7 6. Cool. Gives me 7 pi over 6. This is going to give me 7 pi over 6, okay? That's the other part of my answer. Don't forget. What's our answer? You can't see? Because of the glare? Yeah, I got three pi in my back pocket, so it's going to be seven pi over six plus three pi is my answer. Uh, is that four function technically? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. Boom. That's like that's only like an hour to prepare for that. Dunk. Kobe. Actually, no, that's a good that's a good marker. That's a bad marker. Spend most of them. Geez, that's a backhanded shot. They are though. You always like pick one up and it's dry. They're like amazing. Except today. for this. Boom. Boom. Other than that, this lecture. Is, let's do another one right before lunch, okay? So now, now we're taking my region. Same region, my my guys. Okay. Same region. Okay, what's my axis of revolution this time? Y, y equals negative 2. Okay, so my axis of revolution here is that horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. horizontal. So we're, integral is going to be with respect to what? <coughs> so we're going to do dx. Okay, we're going to integrate from left to right. Okay, I got to make sure all my functions are with respect to x, which they are. Okay, this one's not as bad in my opinion. So it's going to be pi times the integral. What's my bottom, or what's my left? What's the leftmost this region goes for x? Zero. Zero. That's a horrible integral symbol. What's the farthest right it goes? Okay. So we're going to do top minus negative 2 quantity squared minus bottom minus negative 2 quantity squared dx. Okay. What's my top function? Uh, x squared plus 1. <coughs> My bottom, zero, right? Is it because we're going to the floor to the left, but we don't have a JP to the left? Yeah, so we're, we're doing the integral with respect to x, okay? When we're integrating with respect to x, we integrate functions of x, okay? That makes sense? Yeah. Right. Is it always top? Is it always top first, top minus bottom? Or is it for horizontal axis of revolution? So it will never be bottom minus bottom? Oh, never say never. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Could be. What if it's Wouldn't it be bottom minus top if it was an axis of revolution which was above it? I think it would be bought. Okay, I'm not going to say always. Students love asking me to like. They like to like do like sometimes always nevers with me. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah uh, let's. I'll look at more of these and let you know. All right. All right. Let's do this integral real quick and then go to lunch. Uh, x squared plus three quantity squared minus what is that? Uh, four. We can do this by hand. OK, 
Yeah, I'm going to write 9 minus 4 equals 5 real quick because I feel like it. I don't have to do another line of math. All right, and then this is almost four function. What do I need to do? Value, okay. So one to the fifth is one, one cubed is one. Boom. Make the AP greater, do the rest of the work for you. I'm just gonna check that answer, make sure it makes sense. But it makes sense to me. One divided by five plus two plus five times pi. Does that make sense that that little donut thing would have a volume of about 22.6 units cubed? Yeah, sweet. 1209. Too early. Too early for lunch. Let's do another one. You can go. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Um, tell me what the antiderivative of secant is, and you can go to lunch. Why is it your back pocket? Negative. I showed you guys how to do this one. Tell me the trick. Tell me the trick. This is so fun. This is so fun. Uh, like, like the two six. months ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take my secant, right, and I'm going to multiply it by 1. Okay? Instead of writing this as 1, I'm going to write it as secant x plus tangent x over secant x plus tangent x. Okay. That's too hard to That gives me secant squared of x plus secant x tangent x over secant x plus tangent x. This becomes antiderivative of secant squared x plus secant x tangent x all over uh, secant x tangent x. Um, what you want to do is you want to split up your numerator. No, you. All right, uh, go to lunch, 1245. <laughs>
I break the window? I have a really funny story from when I used to work at summer camp about that. I broke into a Hobby Lobby. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. Like on purpose? On accident. We thought it was open. All the lights were on. And we opened the door and like the deadbolt was out part of the way. And we were like, that's, that's weird. And we just walked in. We started shopping. And then the store owner was like, what are you guys, what are you boys doing? What are you? We're like, what? Eddie? We're shopping. Eddie? And then like, it's where closed. Wasn't the door locked? We were like, we opened it and walked right in. And then like, they like, you guys are out, out. And then we, we start driving. As we're driving away, like the whole, all the store staff is like scratching the their head on the front door. <laughs> this is the second number. Yeah, so I accidentally broke into a hobby lot. Did you see the like backwards? No. That was, I forgot all about that story until just now. That was awesome. What story? When I accidentally broke into a hobby lot. And I I'll it. show you. What's I, you a ball away. I got you. That ball away. Ball away. Sit your seat. I just think it's funny to point it out. Yeah, you ever like seen the meme where like if you pull up moves and it's like my favorite question is this one. Alright, 1245, let's go. Alright, you're just you're just eating into your mini quiz time. Oh, oh. Okay. Um Back to the antiderivative of secant. I made a little mistake. Um, I multiplied by secant plus secant, right? Yeah. I just forgot to copy the plus sign over. That's why I was confused. Okay. What's the derivative of the bottom? Derivative of secant is what? Oh, secant. Secant tangent. What's the derivative of tangent? Secant squared. Secant squared. So I have the derivative over the original function. What happens? What's the answer? What's the formula? One ln. Ln. Secant tangent plus. Absolute value of just the bottom. Plus C. We did it. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to spend the rest of the week reviewing for your test that's going to be Monday and Tuesday next week. Yeah. I know, it is usually a bad idea. You guys want me to do Thursday, Friday instead? No, I'd rather do this Thursday, Friday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Wait, what is this? Monday, Tuesday. Can we do a study session on Saturday? Can you say I shot that? I'm really about to visit. I have to pick up my sister. I have a whole deal. I have a. I have to grab a whole lot of stuff yet. But I can get out of work. I have to go over here. Yeah, I have to go to W L. I don't know. So one of the, you know. All right, mini quick. Hey, where's the phone? I probably know some people. Wait, so she's talking to the test. Oh no, if you have a one, that means you have to do either. Alright, mini quiz time. Mr. Roshka, you said we don't have to take it. If you have a one, you are actually insane. What? <laughs> Wanna do the last problem? Mr. Roshka, you said we don't have to take it. I never said that. Example three. Now we're revolving around what? Now we're revol revolving around where? That's what I do when people complain. What? Did you say? <laughs> you didn't really say words. Hey, I'm entertaining myself, okay? Here we go to the last one, okay? So now we're in the same region. We're doing the same region. But now instead, instead, we're going to revolve it. We're going to do it around x equals 2. There's our axis 
the revolution. It's in pink on the right. Yeah. Oh, it's all over there. Sorry, it's all the way over there. It's like on the very right side of the screen. Okay. So again, our axis of revolution is it vertical or horizontal? That's on three. That's on three. Oh, it is. Sorry. <coughs> Revolution x equals two. Okay. Ground line is x equals one. Okay. So we're going to do since it's a vertical axis of rotation, we're going to integrate with respect to what variable? Y. D y. Okay. We, so we're going to integrate functions of x or functions of y? Functions of y. So what do we have to do with this function of x? Change it. Okay, so it becomes uh, x equals root y minus 1. separate this into two different, right, so I'm going to do, so now I'm doing, okay, it's not always right minus left, I'm going to do the line farthest from the axis of rotation minus the graph closest to it, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so right now we're going to do left, it's going to be integral, this is uh, it's from top to bottom, Bottom to top, sorry. <coughs> Integral from bottom to top. Multiply by pi in front. It's going to be left minus 2 squared. Before it was right minus left, because um, our right, the right, re, uh, the right region was farther from the axis of rotation. It's whichever one's farther from the axis of ro rotation. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so um, I've got to do two integrals now. So let's split this up into a yellow region and a green region. Why do I have to do two? So the left, the left changes, right? Right. In this green region here, the left, the left graph is x equals 0. In this yellow region, the blue graph is root y minus 1. Okay. <coughs> Let's do v1. That's going to be the integral, pi times the integral from what to what? What's the lowest y there? 0 to 1. Okay, the left is 0 minus 2 squared minus 1 minus 2 squared. Bless you. You're welcome. Respect to 1. This will give you 3 pi. It's like the exact same integral we did up here. Okay, so take 3 pi. Put it in your back pocket again. Okay, right. When you're doing problems with many parts, you got to put stuff in your back pocket for later. All right, let's do the light yellow. The yellow. A B sub two equals pi. What's my? What are my top and bottom numbers now? One to two. 
The left function is what? Minus one minus two squared minus uh, one minus two squared. Dy. 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 Okay, let's have Terra Bear do this. Have Terra Bear knock this one out. Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. So five pi over six. All right, so that's my answer, right? Circle it. What have I got in my back pocket? I really should have planned better. I should have put something else in there, like a bag of chips or something. I don't know, like, I got a bag of chips. Uh, three pi. So the answer is five pi over six plus three pi. Dog. Dog. All right, mini quiz. Can't hide. Minutes. Area to 22 curves. Set everything away except, yeah, everything away. You can't use calculator. Go out. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so you only have uh, 19 minutes until the end of class. Can I finish the notes and take them off? No. Let's take them off. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Wait, it's all good, man. Ah, uh, here we go.